hi to Chaco. Look at this peasant, he's a supply stock. He cannot build another peasant. Look at over here, Blade is just building that peasant. Look at the uh, Foggy being supply stock. Now we can build a peasant, but he builds another farm first. Can he build a peasant now? Does he want to build more peasants? Blade, he has uh, already so many peasants. Blade is up by one supply. But, and there, there's the peasant. What a game, Chaco. Ch Ch Hello, Chaco. That's me. Hello, what a game. Human mirror resident sleeper. <laughs> it's it's blood mage though. A blood mage for Foggy. And a farseer for Blade. No, right? Attack. Yeah. So let's switch the heroes around. Because this blood mage for Foggy is just creeping over here. And the farseer is creeping over there. It's Gardel Grimside. He creeps on uh, turtles. Go for the next set of turtles. Uh, the farce here, not that bad against the blood mage. Against the blood mage, you kind of want to range heroes. If you got some uh, melee strength hero, that would be the worst. Because he gets his mana stealing so easily, especially with low movement speed. But uh, a fast ranged hero, he can dodge very easily. You know, very easily to dodge the siphon mana. Uh, flame strike, okay? Yeah. Flame strike, sure. Flame check first is fine because then you can get siphon at level two. But uh, yeah, no, I think it's fine. It's fine as long as he gets siphon, right? You don't necessarily need to banish it when you're playing against Farsi. I think the uh, flame check is indeed better. I've mentioned this a few times when we actually seen players play blood match legit legit against orc, but he's not orc. He's human, so um, probably still stands. It probably is even stronger. <laughs> flame strikes is even stronger against human. Then against Orc, at least early game. Uh, there's a Soby Mask. That's nice for the Farseer. Uh, did he lose a peasant? I heard a peasant die. Someone's pinging over here because he has so many peasants on gold. He's building two arcane towers. And he's, look at this flame strike. Boom. A lot of damage done there. And he's, he's killing this arcane tower. It is gone, guys. No more arcane tower up. And he's building arcane vault over here. Because his units are so low on hit points. As a level 3 Farsi though. Level 2 Wolves are gonna help a lot. They're gonna help so much. Militia against Footman and who wins this fight? The Militia are doing their best to win this fight. The Blood Mage attacks a Peasant once. Or Militia once. Attacks it again. <laughs> two of his own Footman takes some damage, one dies. Blood Mage is surrounded though. And he has to TP out. What a play here by Foggy. This peasant is still alive. Ah! Did die in the end. And uh, yeah. What a game guys. What a game. Supplies are pretty even. But we have a tech for Foggy. An expansion probably here. For Mr. Blade. Blade is a level 3 hero. Only level 2 blood mage here for Foggy. It's Hawk's wing. This is Hawk's hero. He borrows uh, the blood mage from Hawk. Farseer is level 3. He has Sobi Mask. A player's, forces are under attack. player's forces are under attack. Wolves. Oh, wow. Wolves. Dire wolves. For They're the best in the most dire situation. Poof. Is he... Uh, what's he doing? Is he... Does he want to do more damage here? I feel like he should have crept something here. Because he knew the Foggy was in the base. Maybe he wants to cancel his healing uh, scroll. Okay, that makes sense actually. Never mind. I take everything back I ever said. But the Blood Mage steals his mana. He can still use the Chain Lightning though. He didn't use the Chain Lightning when he should have. He just uses the Wolves instead. Okay, sure. Use your Wolves. The Wolves, they, are, they like eating Footman guys. Footman, there three of the footmen are already pretty low. Here comes the blood mates. Do we see some ping? ping. A player's forces are <sighs> it's no units though, but you know, does a bit of damage maybe against this tower, against the town hall. He is retreating. The wolves are so scary, I would be scary. There's 34 critical strike there by this wolf. Stick into the base. Fame strike. A staff out, maybe. A 
Players force he does not have a clarity potion. But base just in clarity potion. I wonder why bulls are attacking with their palms and not biting. A town is under siege. Maybe they have more confidence in their paws. Anyway, there's flame strike over there. Uh, this tower, can it get the tower? I don't think so. They do both? Oh, they do both. Just like Pokemon, they have like four attacks usually. Uh, wolves have more than one attack. They can they have at least three attack. Strike left, strike right, bite. Uh, Arcane Falls is not being built. Okay, now it's being built. Farseer. Oh, Shadow Hunter. Not for Blade, but for Foggy. He has some pretty strong heroes with the Blood Mage and the Shadow Hunter. Town is under siege, and this town is under siege. He's still at tier one. His expansion is up. Farsi is so strong here. Is he? Can he kill something? Can he kill everything? There's two arcane towers, so no. The wolfies here. They are. Look, there's a right attack. There's a bite. There's a bite. There's a right attack. There's a bite. Do they attack left at all, or do they? Do they only attack right-handed? Are they all right-handed? The wolfies. Blood Mage is back. Yeah, he, uh, he's beautiful. I mean, I assume wolves, they have uh, pretty sharp nails. <laughs> if he just claps you, you, you're still going to die. Look at how big these paws are. One of these paws are as big as the head of a human. Maybe even bigger. They're bigger, you know. Look at these muscles. These muscles of these legs are bigger than all the muscles of a human in a body together. You would die to one slap of a wolf, you guys. <laughs> He's going for the tower. His full mana summons to more wolfies. There's a chain lining on the peasants. And uh, the wolf is, of course, going down to the arcane tower. The wolf is running around. This arcane tower is going down pretty fast. Is it? Is it gone? The wolf is going for the peasants. Another chain lining. What is he doing here? He's creeping this. And uh, the one tower is dead. A lot of peasants are dead. Farseer is pretty beautiful. And uh, a lot of units are dying. Here comes the Shadow Hunter. We do have a TP here on the Farseer. He wants to use it. Also, Scourge Bone Chimes was picked up by the Blood Mage. So now his footmen are, uh, his militia and footmen are regenerating health. The wolf is here killing more peasants. Where's the Farseer even? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He was a little animal for a little bit. And uh, he's out of mana. So it's probably time to TP. Maybe he can kill one more peasant. He's trying to kill one more peasant, but there's the TP out. And that's just beautiful. He's TP out, he TP'd out, guys. All foodies are lefties. I mean, maybe they're lefties, but maybe it's just more important to use your dominant hand on your shield. I think that's... Uh, a player's that's forces it. Are under attack. Peasants here building a town hall. Just killing this giant sea turtle. What do we have here? Does he tech yet? Do we see any teching? Yes, there's. he's halfway to keep building a blacksmith. Because uh, he wants to build more weapons. That's what you do at a blacksmith. Like guns, for example. You build guns at the blacksmith. The blood knight is level 3. Zook is level 2. But once Zook is his level 3, it's going to be a beautiful fight. Next fight. Wolf is just killing peasants. Come on, peasants. You guys don't survive this. Look, they, they can also stand on their back feet and do critical strike. Where they attack with both uh, arms. You see that? Yeah, there it is. You see that? <laughs> That's when they do the most damage. When they attack you both the right and left. The left hand. Here's some... Uh, oh, they, they have Dispel, by the way. The priests, they have Dispel. So the Wolfies, not that strong anymore. Against all this many Dispels. This many priests with Dispel. Dominant hand or shield, not a sword. Yeah, maybe that's just a sword fighting technique. With the dominant uh, hand on the shield. There's a nice chain lining. Because how hard is it to swing a sword around? Not that difficult, right? You could do that with your uh, offhand. But the swords, you need to block. You need to be very uh, precise at blocking the attack. So, uh, 
Yeah, you can only do that with your dominant hand. The blood by stealing some mana from the Farsha. The Farsha has no TP. I don't know why he's dead now. And of course, these footmen, they're doing a great job here, killing peasants. They killed like th four peasants, five peasants, and they get out. But there's Hex. Is there Hex? Yeah, but the Shadow Hunter is back. In the back, not hexing anyone. He has Hex. He has 70 mana. Ah, one footman is dead. Maybe footies have uh, shield bash. Well, these footmen are going into the base. There's three priests. Do three priests beat three footmen? I don't know. Footmen are kind of hurt. Nice flame cycle, two turtles. What do we have here? Workshops. Hello. A barracks, arcane sanctum. A farseer. What a game, guys. Ah, a footman died. This turtle, this Gargantium Sea Turtle. Gargantium Sea Turtle is dead. Scroll of the Beast. Okay. There's two of them now. Players' forces are under attack. Zulkis uh, and his friend are just creeping. He's level four already. He's stunned. He could steal some mana, maybe. From, wait, does he have banish? Perhaps. Have we seen him siphon yet? We did see him siphon, right? Why did he not siphon the ogre Muller? What a mistake there, but Foggy. Maybe he doesn't realize you can siphon from the creeps. Even more mana here, but the shit is kind of out of mana. Kinda out of mana, so he needs to steal some more mana from the creeps and then give it to the Shadow Hunter. That's what he needs to do. That would be amazing. So many priests now helping out the Blood Mage and the Shadow Hunter just creep. Sorcerer's Chan is here now as well. And does he get Spellbreakers as well? No. Why get Spellbreakers when you have three footmen still alive? The Farsha and the footmen, they're gonna creep a little bit as well. There's a footman here going for the main. What is this? Oh, look at all these upgrades. Gunpowder. Iron plating. Forge, iron force swords. Castle. Second hero. Could be anyone. Anyone. Could it be Duro? Yeah, it could be Duro. Could it be Japan sending PSN? Yes, it could be Japan sending PSN. That's who it could be. Hello, by the way. Hello. There's the animal war training. There's the Shattered uh, Fragmentation Shards. Farseer is level 4. He needs to Siphon Mana, then pick up the Pen of Energy, then Siphon Mana to send a Hunter. Uh, yeah, that would be, would be the way to do it. It's not me, I'm sure. Well, let's see if it's you. It's a Priestess of the Moon. You were right, the road. It's not you. It's uh, Maeve Whisperwind. Does he go ranged units? Of course, unless he goes knights. Actually, he does go knights. Uh, knights and mortar teams, but the mortar teams will benefit from the aura. And they will do so much damage against these priests, against these sorceresses, with the shattered uh, shards. He, he will kill them so fast. All of them are just going to die so fast. Oh, another hero, third hero, could be anyone. Maybe this is Duro. Maybe that's why he knew he wasn't the second hero, because he was waiting for his, his turn. He knew it was the third one. And the Wolfies do so much damage against Spellbreakers, by the way. Uh, so where are the priests to dispel those Wolfies? Uh, Maeve, Whisperwind, losing a lot of mana. No one really cares. The Farseer, he is a little uh, crap. He has a TP. Good TP. He TPs out. She's going to be just fine. This footman is dead. Level 5 now. Level 5 uh, Blood Mage. Wow. What's this? A farm. I don't know, sad but true. Can you tavern a random hero? No, you can't. Hello. A town is under siege. I'm your dream. Mind to stray. I'm your eyes while you're Players away. What a beautiful poem, Bummer. Uh, where's the third hero? The TC. Is, th is this you, Duro? Is this you? Dern! Yeah, I think that's close enough. Duro, Dern. It's you! Hey, Tome of Expedia. 
Maybe pick it up. Okay, how many mortar teams do we have? Does he pick it up? He picks it up. We have two mortar teams. They do take 10% extra damage. I mean, they do deal 10% extra damage. He said 100 TP's out. Yeah, look at this items. Two info potions. Whoa, whoa. Chaco, I heard you go full banana on Wednesday. Yes, full banana. Yeah, I'm a freaking cow, thanks. <laughs> he looks like you, Kappa. No control magic? Uh, you're using a Kappa there, but control magic. If there's a summon against who's good, the Wolfies. I think uh, it's pretty good against the Wolfies. If you have a full mana spellbreaker, you can get a Wolfie. This, this knight is slowed. There are some Wolfies. Militia, go for the mortar teams. Ah, open. Flame strike. This knight is retreating. He's pretty slow. Duro is. Uh, I, I haven't seen a stomp yet. Do we see a stomp here? There's a stomp. Nice Duro. And that was a beautiful stomp, but the Farsh is kind of stuck. Hello, Blade. Okay, move around the trees. That's what he does. These knights are pretty powerful, but the thing is, I don't know what the thing is. The, bo the mortar teams attacking the priests. Oh, so much damage. Nice stomp as well. Chain lining. All these priests are dying so fast. Look at everything just dying. Like so much blood everywhere. Mortar teams, though, under attack. He used the scroll of the beast. On the few units he has to kill his mortar teams ASAP. Killed one already, he's killing the next one. There's a healing wave, level 3 healing wave, heals for so much. And these heroes here are so strong for Foggy. But Blade, he man, he's uh... Oh, he gets flame strike. All these uh, priests so low. The priests of the moon also take it's a lot of damage here. Some wolfies just saying hello. Ah! She dies. Ah! And there's uh, there goes the wolfies. Yes, mana for more wolfies. There goes the priest. Spellbreakers are, are losing against the dice, of course. There's boom, boom. level three flame strike doing a lot of damage, and that is uh, st still not enough. Meanwhile, we have expansion going up over there and one over there. Player's Both players with three bases back. soon against three bases. I'm so good, number one cow. Yeah, beautiful stop. Hi, Chaka. Hello, Cosmo. Beautiful poem. Thank you, Chaco. It is I who wrote it and not some James guy. Okay. James Bummer. Bummer. Is that what I call you now? James Bummer? Farseer TC just aren't good against breakers. Shadowhunter is cheat. Phoenix would be used against knights. Oh, that's true. We're at level 5.6. Blood Mage, uh, Shadowhunter level 5.55. If he just ha if he just uses some more mana potions and gets to full mana, or gives the mana from the side uh, Blood Mage, I'm not sure how much mana he has. Ah, uh, not that much. He could also start hexing knights and uh, mortar teams. I mean, there's a dispel, but how much? Hey, there's another expansion here. So four expansions against, uh, I mean four bases against three bases. Seems I like the bases a lot. Ah, all these peasants died. He's using some flares. He sees this. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Here comes Blood Mage. With the flank attack. Flank attack Blood Mage. Blade is up by 10 supply. And he has a lot of money in the bank as well. These knights are one or two. There's more the teams. Oh look, nice dodge to 2-0 of the... And uh, we have a Warden, a Warden third here for Foggy, and this is a hero he can play, of course. Foggy is a Warden player, he loses Town Hall, but with the Warden he can win the game. He's killing these Mortar teams very efficiently with the Warden. And if only she had the Orb of Fire, he would have this game already in the back. This one is almost dead, this one is, uh, oh he dies. The other one got shadow struck. Meanwhile, Knight here, left behind. Foggy leaves a Knight behind. <laughs> there goes a Mortar team. This knight, can he get this knight? Is it slow? Does he use slow? No, it's no slow, no mana for the sorcerers. This mortar team doing so much damage. He's so annoying with his uh, plus seven damage. He's a, a crab now. Like I was saying, you can't hack these mortar teams. And that's what he does. Spellbreakers, so many spellbreakers, but knights 
They're so good against the Spellbreakers. They're attacking the Shadowhunter and the Blood Mage, so maybe uh, they should all be attacking Spellbreakers. Or uh, kill these casters. They're so low on hit points. Is there a chain lightning? There is chain lightning, but he doesn't use one chain lightning. These four guys are dead. There it is. Beautiful chain lightning. Kills four guys. The Shadowhunter in the back. He has, doesn't have mana. Uses the heal scroll. And he's still alive, but uh, this doesn't look too good for Foggy this fight. Even with the Flame Strike hitting the Farsi right in the. F no! Flame Strike got cancelled somehow. Uh, the Wolfies do too much damage. They're like uh, Blade Masters, of course, at this point. Uh, we all know the Blade Master trains the Wolves. That's why they have Critical Strike and Wind Walk. And uh, this farm goes down. Oh, the Shadow Hunter takes so much damage from the Wolfie and the Knight. The Knight's 1 and 3 upgraded here for Blade. Ah! One peasant goes down. We see an expansion over here for Foggy. Foggy! Some priests showing up. They're like, hello. I'm just passing through. Hello, let us. Oh, did you guys see the attack that Morton hit? Oh. <laughs> it just feels so good to see two priests die in one shot and not leave a body behind. Was that one of their bodies? No, right? No, no, no. That's not even a priest, that's a, a peasant. No body behind. No body left behind. Uh, so Duro, you're finally level three. Congratulations! You have level five Fars here, level two Priestess. Here we have uh, level five, level one Warden. Still, is a Blood Mage almost level six though? He's almost level six. He needs a flying machine as well, I think. He doesn't have more than uh, a workshop. Also, he will get a flying machine to see those invisible Blade Master wolves. These knights are pretty much a pain in the ass. The two and three upgraded. Well, Foggy's knights are still zero and zero. They're weak sauce. These two knights might just win this fight, even though with three heroes backing up and the spellbreaker and two priests. Okay, I guess not. One that gets hacked. He's a bunny now. Takes a lot of damage. What's happening over here? Towers. Towers here for Blade. He knows how to build towers because he's a human player. And Foggy is not a human player. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Towers are not a thing. And there's a boom on the two mortar teams. Uh, the stomp was a bit too late. He couldn't cancel that uh, flame strike. Hello, kill this guy. Healing wave. Everything is still alive. These guys are not alive though. The chain lightning just kills them. This uh, this guy, this girl is just killing the fire shadow hunter. I'm trying to at least, and uh, it seems like Blade is just too powerful. He kills another knight. Is this Broadway's level six yet? He is level six. Oh, imagine this, the phoenix. Great against knights. Also great against the wolfies, by the way. Great against everything. These towers are up, though. Oh, Bla Foggy has no more bases. No more mining bases. If you lose this one and this one, he goes from two mining bases to zero. Well, Blade still has three mining bases. This one is almost empty, though. He's using the Phoenix to defend this one. So he, he will still have one of them. Sure. Foggy will remain with one mining base against three mining bases. Of course, three mining bases is much better than one mining base, but we do have the Phoenix now. We do have the Phoenix. 4k gold for Blade. I mean, that's nice. That's nice. It's better to have 4k gold in the bank than 54, like Foggy. Went to Chaco School to get XP. Nice, Tur Turo. Or should I call you Durn? There's Blood Mage in the front. Chuckle casting with a guy, Human Mirror, to ask why. Lots of expos, so much macro. Thanks for casting, dear Chuckle. <laughs> Thanks. That was a beautiful poem as well. Uh, my aces. Flame strike here. Can Foggy win this somehow with this Phoenix? There's a stomp, hits the Shadow Hunter, hits the B Blood Mage, it's one of the units of Warden. Even the Warden is about to die. There's a holy uh, healing wave. The Shadow Hunter level 6 as well, but his ultimate is kind of bad. So uh, maybe he goes level 3 Hex instead. The Warden is dead. It's pretty bad. Uh, these Knights have inner fire, but you know, it doesn't matter because these Knights have so much better upgrades. They're 3-3 three, three upgraded. Uh, the inner fire is like one upgrade, really. But it's like maybe more like two upgrades. Yeah, maybe more like three upgrades. Yeah, more like three upgrades because every armor upgrade gets two armor. So yeah, let's say three upgrades. Then he still is ahead by three upgrades. Play this with the 339s. GG. Blade wins the first game. And he's going for an altar and a moonwall. Meanwhile, Foggy 
I can't all phrase as well. He gets undead. He's undead now. Like, yeah, we haven't seen him get undead yet in this best of three. But he gets it now. So he, he is undead. And he's going for a random hero. It could be anyone. It could be anyone. Here as well, a random hero. Anyone, really. Who could it be? Anyone, yeah. Anyone. By the way, is so that best race in random heroes mode? Not sure. You aren't screwed if you get Death Knight, but you are screwed if you get a Paladin. Paladin is really bad as undead. We'll see some random heroes here. Uh, Hunter's Hole and Angel of War. We'll see some Huntresses. No Graveyard. Is this a TC for Foggy? Is he stuck here? No, right now. And Blood Mage again. This time for Blade though. Last game it was Foggy with the Blood Mage. Now we'll see Blade and he will show... He will show Foggy how to use the Blood Mage. Blood Mage is especially good against TC who is a frontline hero with... Uh, a player's force yeah, you will probably get stomp. Maybe he can stomp the Blood Mage a few times when he goes to Siphon. But this Siphon... I mean, he could siphon already as aura first. Does he siphon? No, he's just right clicking. Look at his right clicks. Tammy Wind Totem. 68 XP on Tammy. So, uh, what a game. Just go for aura and divine shield. Now, even if you get a paladin, you want the holy light. Uh, and get a second hero that you can heal. Second hero that's uh, a live hero. I mean, the aura is really bad of uh, of the Paladin. Here comes Helm, Helm Magefire. He wants to steal some more mana. Take some damage. Always taking some more damage. He's retreating. He's retreating. Yeah. He's still fine. He takes some more damage. Well, what else do we get here? Some uh, Huntresses. Yeah, Huntresses. There's Ultra Vision. And boom! Does he get any kills? His ghoul is uh, dead. Yeah, he gets a ghoul for the XP. This no went to the TC. The TC is almost level 2, by the way. The TC is doing a great job. He attacks the Blood Mage again. Blood Mage is just running. Uh, meanwhile, the Ghouls are scattered. He's taking out the Null Overseer. TC again. His axe is so powerful. Uh, so obviously he went Flame Strike first, as you guys just saw. And he didn't go uh, Cyber Mana first or anything. Uh, TC is now level 2. Stomp. Can he kill this Blood Mage? Yeah. Why? Because he didn't go Cyber Mana first. Oh, he doesn't get him. He doesn't get him. He gets a second Ghoul kill. AD oh, the TC is sneaky. He is so sneaky. He wants his kill. So he's going to be sneaky. He's going to buy the boots. You want boots on TC anyway. And then he's going to kill the Blood Mage. Look at this. He's, he just looks like just like a Blade Master, doesn't he? Doesn't this guy remind you of a Blade Master? 30 to 40 damage. No critical strike. But besides that, you know, oh, he's, he's hunting down heroes. The skeletons over here. What do we have? Hunters in the main. Did he get another kill? No. ADXP. Blood. He's searching. He cannot find a blood mage. His movement speed is incredible right now. 357. Blood mage. Only 300. He's retreating. Okay. The TC with the ghouls. He's walking past the wisp. Does he kill the wisp? The wisp detonates. He could have stomped the wisp. But maybe he didn't expect Blade to pay attention to the wisp. But Blade, Blade did pay attention to the wisp. 
He, would, he was just greedy. He wanted to get a wisp without using the stomp. Uh, there is double ancient of lore going up. The Eclite scouts it. He sees the tree of eternity as well. Yeah, well, the TC go for some gnolls. Here comes the blade master. Uh, blade master, Chaco is a blood mage. Oh, this is the blood mage. Okay, and there's a nice flame strike. These ghouls take a lot of damage. Flame strike and huntresses with their bouncing glaives. One ghoul does go down. Blood mage still level one though. Still level one. Do we get the second hero? As on that, you kind of want the second hero. You want the uh, ranged hero. Not too early, because first you want the XP on the TC. Acclite attacking the build base. You want your TC to level 3. But by the time your Black Citadel is done, you need that second uh, ranged hero. For that orb, of course. That orb of... Uh, win the game. Corruption. Orb of Corruption is so strong. But on the other hand, he doesn't get fiends. I don't understand. One, we see these random hero, random race... Uh, players get on that. They often just go for ghouls instead of fiends. Now he's going for fiends. Okay, maybe just early game ghouls into late game fiends. Just try it. I mean, this hunters. Oh, we have a priestess, by the way. Priestess of the moon. What does that mean? He's going more dryads. What is hunters doing? Oh, she's searching for the acolyte, but the acolyte is over there. Cookie -cookie. Oh, what do we get? An arc mage. Hello. How is this pair? An Archmage? The Archmage is strong, right? A player's force yeah, he has the two best auras in the game. <laughs> Brilliance Aura and Endurance Aura. And he will have the Orb of Corruption. The best orb, the two best auras. He's looking pretty good so far for Foggy. The Blade, you know, he has uh, also pretty good aura. But I'm, I think he wants to go bears. Alright, so this aura is not as insanely good as these two auras. Imagine Bruins aura on the CC is just gonna stomp and stomp and stomp. Bears are not gonna do anything. You might have uh, Siphon Mana. Ooh, Flame Strike hits some of these units. The goal is he's gonna survive? No, he's dead. But with the uh, statues and the Bruins aura, unlimited mana. Now, of course, with the Blood Mage stealing mana, that means he also has unlimited mana. And uh, especially because the Priest of the Moon doesn't require any mana. So we're going to see a lot of flame strike, a lot of stomps. And uh, it's going to be beautiful. Is he going for Blizzard? I don't think he wants Blizzard because he has an Archmage. He has an Orb. Did he go Water Elemental? Wait, he used a mana already. What mana did he use? Did you guys see? I wasn't paying attention. Did he use Blizzard? Or did he summon a Water Elemental? Do you guys see? Please. Hold on, hold on a second. Blade beat Foggy? Yeah, first map, yeah. Okay. Guess you go. Oh, there's a water ele elemental indeed. Okay. That's a good choice. Of course, the uh, device can dispel this water elemental. There it is. There's a dispel. He's going for Ghoul Frenzy. I guess the Archmage isn't isn't that strong. Uh, only the Burns Aura are strong, but the water elemental is not that strong. Eclide sees this tree of life going up. Blood Mage stealing some mana from the TC. Look at his movement speed. He just walks away. Easy piece. This guy almost dies in one attack of the Archmage. And the, she kills it though. The, uh, Kara, Star Dragon, the Priestess of the Moon. Picks up a greater mana potion. Is he going for the Blood Mage? Blood Mage flame strikes himself. There goes uh, Hunter's Chan. We have bears here. The Master Bears. Does he get another stomp off? He does have... Okay, TP's out. He TP's out, guys. And do we uh, do we go Frostworms or anything? The third hero he has Shades. He, could, he can go Shades. This guy could w walk home and go for Shade. I mean, there's no reason to just stand there and do nothing. Uh, he does get a Boneyard. This Ghoulchan is dead, guys. The Ghoulchan is dead. The TC is level 3. Archmage is not level 2. And Bruns Aura on statues. Bruns Aura on the TC. This statue is never going to run out of mana. And, uh, interesting. We have this, these heroes here, just creeping as well. Level 3 Blood Mage. Level 2 Priestess of the Moon. And does he go for more bears? How many bears does he have? He has two bears. Uh, four Dryads. Of course, the Dryads, they, take that, they gain that extra bonus damage that the bears do not get. 
of the Priestess of the Moon, and she's almost level 3. So this bonus damage is going to be even bigger. Even more strong. He's going for this Tree of Life. He can, if he can kill it, of course he can kill it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy kill. There's no uh, fiends. I mean, there's fiends. No wisp here to repair. This fiend is almost dead. This, oh, flame strike uh, hits like nothing, really. This fiend did go down. But that trade was definitely worth it here for Foggy Nice. More time to, time to get his Frostburns up. And uh, win the game, of course. Thing is, he already has TC. Frostworms are not that important. Normally, you need the Frostworms for the bears. I feel like if you have a TC, you can just go uh, with the destroyers. Because the stomp is really so good against the bears. We have a, a blade master, not for blades, but for foggy. I don't think it's worth it to buy a second Orb of Corruption for the Blade Master. Mikasa, not as long as she's level 1. Uh, yeah, I'd like to just keep it on the Archmage. It's just so much better on the Deranged Hero. Over here we see... Do we see a third hero over here? Not yet. Triads. Nature's Blessing. What is this? Oh, Tree of Life. It's gonna staff to the Shade. The Blade Master working on this Tree of Life. The Shade sees this army over here. And now he has level 2 aura on the Priestess. He uh, tries to do quite a bit more damage. The Blade Master Mikasa. He does have mana for Windwalk, but not if it gets stolen. So he has to be careful. And he's careful. Why are you changed tree for Rock Column? Uh, I moved. <laughs> I moved. Because now, behind the rock column, there's a gold mine. I want some gold. You know, I like gold. We have a first worm now. Gives a pendant of mana and a pendant of energy to TC. Hello, TC. How much mana do you have? 700. And Grunt's Aura. So, yeah. A lot of mana on the TC. Even if he gets some mana stolen, he will stomp for a lot. Blade Master shows up. He's uh, saying hello to the creeps with his sword. Archmage picks up some uh, intelligence. He also has a robot magi. Imagine if he gives that to the TC as well. He would have even more mana. But you know why? Why would you do that? Just keep on the Archmage. Sure. Blade Master is uh, has no real Blade Master items. Blood Mage over here. Some mass. Blood Mage also with a lot of mana and IQ. 37 intelligence. And the Priestess of the Moon. Class of Attack plus nine. Potion of Greater Mana. This expansion is going up. They creep the entire map. What a game, guys. What is your new home trying to tell us? <laughs> Gold digger? <laughs> a player's force here comes the Zeppelin. Attacked. There's no expansion over here. He's gonna fly into the main base. Here he comes. He only has one fiend, by the way, which is interesting. When he's playing against so many dryads and huntresses, you think you get more than one fiend. Building a slaughterhouse. What is he going for? Mass meat wagon? Mass abomination? Well, he's going for the ancient lord, which has seven armor, of course. Because of nature's blessing, he's pretty difficult to kill. Here's a dryad. He can try to dispel a water elemental. Takes a few dispels, though. Uh, where's the rest? Where's your friends? Here they are. Here are her friends. Dries are 1-1. One, one. The first room is 0-0. Zero, zero. Archmage is, uh, you know, summoning a water elemental. Gets this spell. The Blade Master left behind. Does he have a windwalk? Uh, hello, where's your windwalk before you get your mana stolen? Oh, he's going to die for sure. Let's look, and look at him die. Oh no, Zeppelin can pick it up. Zeppelin, your Blade Master needs help. Mikasa, Mikasa. Okay. Flame strike. Wait, what? <laughs> Flame strike on the tree, so he has more vision or something. I don't know. Uh, and we see a TP for one dryad. Okay, TPs for one dryad. We have a sapper here, two sappers. They kill tree of life. Nice play there by Foggy. There's a ghoul. The ghoul's zero zero. Hey, another fiend. What are these slaughterhouses for, though? What are they for? 
Ah bombs. Is he going for ah bombs? There's an ah bomb. There's an ah bomb. Is Blade human? Yes, main race is human. Boo and Lucy or happy? Happy one. But this TC just showing up. He moves so fast with the level 2 aura. And the boots, he has max movement speed, of course. Is it true? No, it's not true. It's uh, 54 plus 60 is 114. So 384. This hunter is doing a lot of damage to this acolyte. And uh, so many drives. Yeah, maybe if you listen to me and made these fiends a bit earlier, Foggy, you'd be winning this game already. Blade Master just defending against a silly huntress. There's a shade over there, just watching. These drives are 1-1. One, one. Blade Master should be fine. Okay, this bear is going down fast to the fossil room and the Archmage and everyone together. Stomp on these heroes that are next to each other and the bear as well. These are like the only targets that can be stomped, so you should spread those out a little bit. Blade Master killing uh, Dryas for fun. The Archmage retreated a little bit and now he's killing Dryas as well. The fossil room though is, is di dies to one hit. There's another stomp of these two heroes. They're standing next to each other. The Archmage though, most important hero. Uh, he's going for the bear. Because, you know, why not? These abominations get flame struck. So much damage to Archmage, he has to retreat. Ah! There's another stomp, it hits all the heroes again and the bear. And here's another fiend, and the fiend is going to do so much damage. TC is losing his mana, but he has more stomps, he maybe should stomp again. And that's what he does, but uh, Bloodmage got away in time. Steals more mana from the TC, and TC is out of mana, he started his fight with 750 mana. He, has, he had level 2 Bronze Aura and statues regenerating his mana, but he still got out of mana. Level 5 TC, now level 3. Mikasa, does he pick level two critical strike? Uh, I assume so, but we'll, we never know. We might never know. Level three endures aura because it was out of mana. I don't like this very much because he, after this fight, is gonna be, uh, <laughs> you know, next fight he will have again a lot of mana. So level three storms are gonna be is extremely powerful, but doesn't matter anyway. He's gonna win this game anyway. It's looking pretty strong here for Foggy. He got the. Got that advantage where uh, he's gonna win this game. And look with this bronze aura, look how fast is he gets his mana back. He's already at 130. And this without the statues. He will be back to 745 mana in no time. And the Archmage, you know, he's full mana. Archmage is full mana. Probably because he didn't use any water elementals. Because he didn't want to get his water elementals dispelled by uh, little Dryads. TC. Oh, the Priest is now level 5. Uh, Blood Mage just... Oh, oh the Echolites are dead. Nice flame strike. Ah, there goes Dryad. Abomination, zero, zero. <laughs> Move all goes down. Still some mana from the DC. There is a burrow fiend there, the, the blood mage. He's back by the way. He's uh, taking a bit of damage. Is he uh, stomped? Yep, he dies. Next hero, GG, one, one. It's gonna be exciting. I know it's gonna be exciting. There's a tomb of relics. Let's see who's doing a better build order. There's a random hero for Blade. What do we get here for uh, Foggy? Random hero. This random hero is going to be a bit better. Uh, a bit later, I meant. <laughs> Maybe better as well. <laughs> we don't know. Hello, Ari. Welcome back. And here we have a ghoul. So a bit earlier ghouls for Foggy. Bit later hero, bit earlier ghouls. I think the build order is a bit better for Foggy. Play the scouting with the ghoul. Cool. 
if they disconnect they rehost with the same races by the way <laughs> so there's nothing to do about it if they rehost they will if they disconnect they have to pick on that again fire lord is going for this acolyte and we have a paladin <laughs> oh, paladin is so bad he cannot holy light his allies he cannot holy light his opponent's uh, hero because it's a, a living hero or can a holy light is his opponent's ghouls yeah and his uh, yeah, other units his opponent's units and his own secondary hero if it's a living hero at least but yeah that's pretty bad for foggy is he going to harass the acolytes maybe that's what he's going for the holy light harass on the acolytes meanwhile the fire lord is also can the holy light harass the skeletons that would be nice he has skeletons himself here he comes here comes the paladin if we have a nerubian tower there going up paladin oh yes divine shield first divine shield and he's going with the skeletons Forces has some ghouls over there they're ready to go for on a mission foggy's tagging to tier two here come the skeletons but we have a ghoul defense nice ghoul defense skeletons uh the ghouls what are they doing they're going for the fire lord okay there goes one murloc guy fire lord is almost level two maybe if you get the baby murloc okay he's level two sing singy slayer sing singy slayer level two here we have Agamant, the true. This guy, man, 71 hit points. A player's forces are under attack. Double in the Rubian Tower. Is he gonna fight against the skeletons? He is not gonna fight against the skeletons. <laughs> He can harass with level 3. Yeah, if he can get level 3. You see this paladin? 0 XP. 0. He's gonna die to the fire lord attack with the lava spawns. <laughs> okay, well let's see what he can do with his divine shield. He's just a ghoul really. He's just an extra ghoul. This ghoul is my goat around. Uh, you know, he doesn't want to die. He's going to the healing fountain. Makes sense. That's something I would do as well. Paladin, he could attack this uh, ghoul, but he doesn't. There goes the ghoul. Paladin still 0 XP. Uh, this ghoul is Michael Durant as well. He's still alive. This ghoul is uh, dead. This ghoul is he going to die? Yes, he dies. The two in the Rubin Towers are beautiful, but it's not going to help him very much. Uh, I mean, he's at 0 XP still. He cannot get a lava spawn. It's too fast. He is going for acolytes and more ghouls. Uh, maybe he needed a spirit tower, but he doesn't have a graveyard. So he cannot build spirit towers. There's a lava spawn guy. Uh, yeah, surround on the Fire Lord is nice. It's a nice start, but we have three lava spawns killing the ghouls that surrounded the Fire Lord, so they are uh, gonna kill all the ghouls. The Fire Lord just gets out of the surround and he's just gonna survive. Easy survival there by the Fire, fire Lord. Still zero XP on the Paladin. Fire Lord almost level three. Uh, this, this fire lava spawn is attacking the ghoul. These other guys are attacking this tower. Oh! Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Cool snipe attack kills the fire lord finally XP 120 XP. That's how much you get for level 2 fire lord and now 162. Now look at this comeback of the paladin, he's almost level 2 already. Killing one fire lord is that all the, all the difference that he needed? All the difference that he needed to make kills their lava spawn. This other lava spawn also going down. This will be level 2 on the, on the paladin. There it is, level 2. Now he has holy light. He can uh, use it on ghouls and to kill them. You know, for example, this ghoul if he wants to use it. One more attack. Oh, can he not get it? <laughs> the ghoul is too fast. He could use two holy lights, I guess. But I'm not sure if he uh, can reach with the second holy light. Okay. Oh, well. Paladin is pretty strong. Blade has 1000 gold. I think you thought he had the game won already, but then he lost his Fire Lord. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, I understand. I understand. Maybe he should use his gold second hero after Ziggurat. Would be nice. Black Citadel would be nice. Slaughterhouse would be nice. Uh, yeah, things are nice. Oh, second hero here for Foggy. Bye. 
by the way, 500 gold more mined for blade. Well, yeah, some more uh, details. Fire Lord is almost level 3. What do we see here? Do we see a hero that can be healed by the Paladin? Or do we see an undead hero? A player's forces are under attack. Like a Dark Ranger. Like a Pit Lord. A Crypt Lord. A Dread Lord. A Death Knight. Eclide makes a graveyard. This had better be worth it. That's an Archmage. That's a hero he can holy light. Also, the water elementals can also be holy lighted. So, uh, and he can creep with this guy. Why is my overlay not updating? There it is. So we have a dreadlord, a dreadlord here for the other player. Which can also be holy lighted. The dreadlord. So uh, Paladin finally finds some more use. No. Dreadlord screaming over here. We have a fire lord level 3. Dreadlord level 1. Nerothos. Picks up a Sips of Agility. This lava spawn. Don't forget this lava spawn. And he doesn't forget the lava spawn. There's another fiend. He's getting more fiends. Does he get statues as well? He's getting statues as well. Smart play here by Blade. Foggy just killing some ogres. There goes another troll. There's Tome of Agility. Does he pick it up? He does pick it up. Nice play. And this Ogre Magi is totally dead. Ah. Potion of Greater Healing. Does he pick that up? With the Archmage? Okay, with the Archmage. Not with the Paladin. There's so many skeletons. He's screaming with skeletons and, and water metals and paladins. Here we see this uh, Fire Lord just killing a dragon. Yeah, why not? He's Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. Of course he kills a dragon, no problem. He's almost level 4. The Dreadlord is level 2. Did you get Vampiric Aura? Yes, Vampiric Aura is, uh, is, is great for his ghouls. How many ghouls does he have? 7. Gonna use 3 in the next combat. Leaves these other four at home just to kiss, uh, cut some uh, more trees. Maybe we'll use them later. And that's gonna be amazing. <laughs> A lot of creeping. Of course we we love it when they just creep the entire map. Tome of strength. Does he pick that up? Yeah. The Paladin will be level 3. And so will the Archmage. The Fire Lord already level 4. We have a third hero for both of the players. Blade gets a keeper. <laughs> I'm a keeper. <laughs> Sentry is the keeper. Not really a good hero. <laughs> it's uh, I, oh, he did need the hero with for the orb, but actually he already had the fire lord. We attacks super fast with two gloves of haste, so uh, he should just give the orb to the fire lord. Really, but does have incinerate. No. Look how fast he attacks. The Fire Lord is already the fastest attacking ranged hero in the game. If he's not just overall the fastest attacking hero. I don't think he's the overall the fastest attacking hero, but he is definitely the fastest attacking ranged hero. Now with three gloves of haste, slippers of agility, 29 agility. He's gonna attack so fast. He's gonna kill everything so fast. Is he just gonna win the game? He also has the flute here or the dreadlord that's playing it for him. So that's nice. This keeper also does uh, plus six damage now with the rope of the magi. Look at him. This ogre, he's already dead. Wow. What does he pick up here? Uh, helm of failure. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's also good for him. <laughs> he, he does give it to him. <laughs> helm of failure as well, so he attacks even faster and does even more damage. Interesting. Uh, we have a fire lord here as well, by the way, for also with the orb. Both Fire Lords have this orb, but okay, he does has some more damage items. He does more damage, but his attack speed is way way lower. This Paladin is in trouble. Oh wait a second, this Fire Lord gets soul burned. He's still alive, and without the Fire Lord in the fight, it's looking good for Foggy. Holy Light on the Archbishop, but the Fire Lord comes back. So there's a lava spawn. There goes a fiend. But uh, Blade's army is. 
Here we have Holy Light, so this Phylor stays in the fight. It can do so much damage with the orb. Paladin in trouble. Does he have Divine Shield? Of course. Does he use it? Wait, uh, maybe still on cooldown. Uh, he's dead. Well, the Fire Lord is back to having a decent amount of hit points. With the Paladin dead, is this time to do something? Supplies are pretty even. Maybe we should go for an expansion blade. Maybe it's expansion time. It's gonna creep. Let's see how fast he creeps this. Ogre Magi is already dead. Ogre Lord. Oh, but here comes the flank attack. By the way, he has both Vampiric Aura and uh, vamp and uh, Keeper Aura. That's interesting. But he only has a few ghouls. Okay, well, this Dreadlord is doing a great job. Does he uh, have sleep, by the way? I haven't really seen him use his uh, spells much. He's full mana. Does he have spells? The keeper, hello. The keeper is. Uh, be careful. <laughs> this guy's just killing water elemental in a few seconds. Pretty sure he has sleep, but we, he didn't use any sleeps. Blade. Blade is not used to using sleep. Entangle. He also has so much mana here on the keeper to entangle. Hello. 585 mana. He's more mana than hit points. Crystal ball is not amazing. Not amazing, guys. Forty-eight supply gets forty-seven. Sleep entangle soul burn easy kill. Yeah. What is Foggy going to do? He has, he's going for Temple of the Damned. I guess, you know, to counteract these three gloves of haste, you can just get Unholy Frenzy. And one Unholy Frenzy does more than three gloves of haste do. That's how strong Unholy Frenzy is. Fifty percent. You have know, this keeper here killing some murlocs. Do we see Unholy Frenzy over here? No. Crystal Ball isn't amazing, but a coin is a coin. Blood Mage has 1.6. Yeah, but uh, Blood Mage has much less agility. So uh, Fire Lord attacks much faster than a Blood Mage. Much faster. It's not even close. Like a level 2 Fire Lord has already 23 agility. However, the Fire Lord has one weakness. One, uh, one thing that I didn't know until recently. Like all ranged heroes have 600 range, except for the Fire Lord. He only has 550. This game, uh, heroes uh, agility growth are very low compared to strength or intelligence. So AG heroes Get less bonus from each level. Yeah, but at level one, he's already uh, he attacks faster than level blood mage level one. Okay, here comes here comes Foggy. There's Love Spawn. Oh, he he swapped one slippers for uh, gloves of haste. Interesting. Give the gloves of haste to the keeper. Not all ranged heroes got 600. Which one doesn't? I don't know a single other ranged hero that does not have 600. Other than the Fire Lord. 
Mage 600, Keeper 600. I'm pretty sure they all have 600. Shadowhunter? What does he have? 550? Pretty sure it's 600, but we can check it after the game. I'll check it after the game. The fiends are 2 and 0 here. You know what? I could check it now because they're just not gonna fight. Shadowhunter Worker 3. No, we're going 60, which is 600. Shadowhunter has 600, just like the others. A player's forces are under attack. 76 supply against 66. Here comes Blade. This Fire Lord doing so much damage. There goes a the fiend. Some lava spawn. He's cool. Retreating. He's slow. He's retreating. 78 supply against 63. Okay, sleep sleep on the Banshee. We have Banshees by the way, not the uh, Unholy Frenzy, but that's fine. And their magic shell is not very useful. This only works against destroyers. There goes the Archmage. He dies super fast, of course. He, uh, I'm not sure if Holy Light was on cooldown. The Fire Lord is killing fiends there for fun. This Dreadlord, hello. Dreadlord is going to die. He used Heal Scroll, but he's still going to die. Uh, doesn't matter. Who cares about Dreadlord? Where well, you have a Fire Lord that is killing everything. Maybe we'll see some more volcanoes. Just look at this Fire Lord. He's killing his Banshee over here. The Banshee is still alive. He's going for this Banshee, maybe. No, that Banshee is dead. This Banshee is dead. Everything is going to GG's and there Blade wins that game. The game was over after like five minutes But uh, <laughs> I mean on that versus on that Okay, um, Blade won this so with the finals are gonna be Blade against Happy